Hi guys, we've got a great one for you today. By request, we're doing Jalapeno Poppers on the Weber Genesis E330. All right, so let's get started. First off, we have to get our jalapenos and cut them in half and core them out. We'll show you how we do it. So just chop these in half like that. Try and get the stem as well, so you get nice little Fancy. handles. Fancy. Some of our little brick brown seeds inside, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna we're gonna remove those after. So next, what we need to do is get each of these like this, and just get a little spoon and just drag those seeds out, all the inside. Just do one more. Just kind of dig in. Come on, you bitch. There we go. So scrape, scrape the seeds out like that. It makes a nice like little cavity for our filling. Okay, now we need to get on with our filling. So first things first, we need uh, 500 grams of pork mince. Um, just because it comes in that size, I don't need anywhere near that amount, but once we're finished, we'll make some cheeky meatballs or something as a snack. Um, for a little bit of uh, heat, uh, we met this guy um, at Phillip Island here in Melbourne a little while ago, uh, Grumpy Gary, who makes these amazing hot sauces. I don't think you can buy them in stores, but you can get them online. Uh, uh, grumpygary.com.au, I think, but just Google Grumpy Gary hot sauces. They are amazing. Later on, we're going to glaze with this one, the smoky hot sauce, but I'm going to put a little bit of the ripper in there. Morning might rip you a new one. 17 out of 10 burn. Outstanding. So we're just going to put a, a tiny drop of that in. About that much, because it is crazy hot. Let's pop that aside. All right, two tablespoons of cream cheese will go in. About that much, beautiful. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. About that much. Some Italian seasoning blend. Um, about that much. <laughs> uh, some sweet and smoky paprika. About that much. <laughs> some cracked black pepper. And a bit of uh, salt. Cool, that's it. Use what God gave us to mix this up. So just get your hands in there, don't be shy. It's a bit gross, but what are you going to do? Oop, ran overboard. Just until it's kind of combined like that. Beautiful. Uh, next part we need to do is we need to stuff these guys with the pork mince. So you just get a little teaspoon like that. And we don't want to overfill it. Just you know kind of like that. It doesn't matter if it you know kind of humps up a tiny bit because we're going to wrap that with bacon shortly. That's one. I've got 20 to do, so I might be, I might be here for a while. Can you put cheese in the mixture? I did put cheese in the mixture. Oh, you meant regular cheese? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Honestly, raid the fridge and put whatever the hell you want in them, really, to be honest with you. Um, you know, you could put some charred corn in here. You could put... That's a good idea. You know, whatever. Um, some fresh herbs, even. Some parsley, or whatever. All right, so what we need to do next is we need some thin... Uh, rasher bacon, you can see how thin that is. Thin because we want it to kind of crisp up um, around these guys after we wrap them. So the go is, let's get this guy. So the go is, um, start at the bottom and wrap like that. And around, so we've got, so it's sitting down on the folds and it doesn't go everywhere. And then put it in there like that. And out hand. 
and then when this cooks in the barbecue, um, a little bit of the jalapeno, we will drop a little bit of um, water, um, juice, which will go to the bottom, and then that'll caramelize up and caramelizes the bottom of these guys as well, which is awesome. All right, just like that, perfect. And we just finish them off with a little spray of olive oil and a dusting of that Italian seasoning and we are ready to hit the barbecue. Side burner first to warm up the pan. I'm wondering when I'm going to start getting paid. When am I going to start getting paid? All right, we've got the Weber at 250 degrees Celsius. And I've got a nice sizzle on these babies. Time to get them on. Are you filming? All right, let's go. So I've got a uh, rack. Uh, that I put in here. It's also the same rack that I use to raise my pizza stone up uh, in the Kamado Joe when we cook pizza. And that's just to keep these off the direct flame. And I'll just pop these guys in here and we'll see them in about 25, 30 minutes, give or take. Bye. <clears throat> to maintain a good 250 degrees, just showing you the burner setup. So I've got the outside one in there. The middle one is on low, just to keep a little bit of radiant heat under there. And the outside one, uh, this right hand side one, exactly the same. It's about that time, isn't it, love? Some Chardonnay. 2011, Yarra Valley, Victoria. Australia, mate, Australia. Stop it, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't misrepresent me. <laughs> Yummo, yummo. Am I too bogan for you? Am I too bogan? Should I put my pinky finger out like this? You can see the cat trying to escape from the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking cracker. Cheers to Saturday, hey? Mm -hmm. We're gonna give these guys a little baste up now. I've pre-mixed this sauce. It's a mixture of uh, sweet baby rays, that grumpy Gary sauce you saw in the beginning, the smoky uh, hot sauce, and a little bit of paprika. All right, let's give these a baste. So we just wanna give these a little saucy sauce. There we go. Just dab on each one. Do you like my epic? Brush. I do. Amazon. You've had a few fails on Amazon. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll let this all set up for three, four minutes. We'll come back, we'll place one more time, and then we'll be done. Awesome. Get them inside. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> 